This Friday marks the fourth state visit of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to Paris since Moscow's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Now, after a military welcome at the Hotel des Invalides that you see right behind me, uh, Volodymyr Zelensky is set to give a speech at the French National Assembly. That's the lower house of the parliament. He will then visit a Franco-German uh, uh, defense company that provides artillery guns to Ukraine. And finally, uh, both heads of state are set to sign two agreements involving 650 million euros in loans and grants to Ukraine, uh, especially to help rebuild the transport and energy sector, which have been heavily targeted by Moscow. But the big question today is, will French President Emmanuel Macron uh, announce that he will be sending French instructors to train Ukrainian soldiers uh, in their home country? If that announcement is confirmed later today, well, then the sends a new and stronger message of commitment to Ukraine. Uh, but the Kremlin has already said that it will not hesitate uh, to target areas even if foreign personnel is present. Another big issue with today's state uh, visit is that it clashes with the timeline of the EU elections. The vote is supposed to be held uh, this Sunday in France. And some opposition candidates have accused Emmanuel Macron of using the state visit as a tool to gain more votes for his party, Renaissance, currently headed by Valérie Ayé, uh, and that is lagging by more than 15 points behind the French far right. Sofia Katzenkova for Euronews reporting from Paris.